Hello everybody, this is Bud Rich and this is kind of a tabs my browser video uh, with a theme. The theme is touch typing. And I thought uh, that I would uh, show you a couple of different uh, touch typing programs and the websites and uh, different uh, schools or whatever. Let's talk a little bit about touch typing because that is um, all that I think about uh, these days because I'm creating my own touch typing uh, program here called Typist. So that you can. And this is a typical touch typing program. You, you get some text that you're supposed to copy uh, and uh, during some, some time interval, in interval and uh, when you're done you will see how fast uh, you were typing. It, 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 it's really <laughs> what it's all about, you know. Uh, so, since I've been uh, doing this, I have uh, thought a lot about touch typing and stuff. So, why not uh, talk about that stuff with you guys? Uh, and it will not be about my own uh, typisk here. Uh, I got a comment from Samina, who, who, who wants, wants, he wants the, the application. It's not um, uh, public yet, but I, I, I will try to release it like next week. Uh, we'll see, uh, but whatever, touch typing, uh, apparently I've invented 1888 uh, by some dude <laughs> uh, as, as a technique for, for touch typing, meaning that you're typing on the keyboard without looking at the keys, you, you're touching or you're typing by touch. And there are uh, many advantages of this. Uh, the obvious one is, of course, you don't have to look at the keyboard, so you can look at uh, what you are typing. Or, if you're really good, you can look at other things. Uh, you can you can kind of multitask. You can type in one window uh, while reading something in a different window, and things like that. Uh, there's also like ergonomic uh, reasons, like and and they are kind of serious. Both uh, reducing neck strain because you don't have to make these small micro adjustments with your neck and things like that uh, when you don't have to look at the keyboard. Uh, but also, of course, uh, uh, it, it's much more um, healthy for the hands to touch type uh, than the not touch typing and. The opposite of touch typing that is called uh, hunt and peck technique which is what most people use uh, they use uh, maybe either uh, one or two fingers uh, on each hand and then they type everything with that and i, I was one of those you, you know no one is born uh, touch typing because it is really something that you have to have to learn uh, and there is like a system for it um, so let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, um, about this yeah this is the wikipedia page you can read this about about whatever you know touch typing uh, and typing speed here uh, that's measured in wpm words per minute so how many words you're able to type in one minute and um, usually this means uh, that one word here it, it actually means five characters because you know, some words, yeah, here they say it. The phrase uh, I run counts as one word, but uh, rhinoceros and let's talk uh, would both count as two because, yeah, it's uh, five characters, uh, it's, it's one word. And here we have I space R U N, that's five characters, so that's one word when you measure this. Uh, so in reality, it's like uh, uh, characters per second time five or whatever doesn't really matter um, in 97 uh, there was a study done uh, on average computer users typing speed and uh, it concluded that uh, the average rate was 33 words per minute uh, but uh, there are really three types of, of average computer users uh, groups. Uh, the fast typers, uh, they type at 40 words per minute, and the slowest ones type uh, at an average of uh, 23 words per minute. And this is, I guess, the average, average group. And I think I was kind of in this group uh, when I didn't 
train at all on uh, didn't didn't try to type fast at all you know uh, the, and hunt and picking then you are somewhere around here uh, but professional typers they usually type around 50 to 80 words per minute and professional typers that's like authors and journalists and if you're or um, in academia you're writing long yeah you know you're writing stuff stuff uh, and probably also programmers uh, and programmers being a little bit more uh, computer savvy and stuff like that they, they probably know more about this and different keyboard layouts and stuff that we talk about uh, soon so they are probably higher uh, in, in the higher range here but it, it, it's kind of rare uh, that people type faster than 80 words per minute and you also have to understand that like professional typists here imagine an author they're not typing, you, you, you cannot sit down and type at maximum speed for uh, eight hours a day. You kind of have to find a, a flow and a, a speed, I guess, and I have also read about this. Uh, I'm not a professional typer myself, uh, but I can just imagine. Um, so in reality, like uh, there are words per minute. If you take a whole day and let's say, let's say four hours of typing where, where the keys are active uh, on the computer you know or the keyboard and that and then take an average of that then uh, you will get something around 50 words per minute is actually very fast in in such circumstances um, but if you're just doing like this uh, uh, word or typing tests it's uh, you will see that many people they get up to like 150 200 words per minute but then that's just like one minute easy uh, typing tests. It, it, it's a bit different. And here we can see the hunt and pick typists. Uh, those who don't touch type, they, they speed about 37 words per minute. Uh, uh, it's like the maximum speed you can reach without learning touch typing. And also this is more error prone. So you, you make more uh, uh, mistakes. Uh, even if you look at the keyboard, uh, this technique uh, has, has a lower accur accuracy, meaning you have to correct text and stuff, and that also takes time. Uh, and in, I think that is one of the biggest benefits of touch typing is that the, the speed actually improves by, by you. You don't have to make that much uh, corrections. And also, since you're watching the screen while you're typing, you can see the errors immediately and correct them immediately. So it's... Uh, the, the correcting uh, process of word processing uh, is much, much uh, lighter and easier when you can touch type. Then there's this stuff, stenotype, uh, which is, uh, let's not get into it, but if, if you know that, then we can get up to 360 words per minute is a world record uh, in stenotyping. But that's a uh, weird business. Whatever, let's not get into that. Um, Writing by hand is a lot slower. Uh, here we can see approximately 5 to 20 words per minute is, is like the average uh, handwriting speed or 30 words per minute. And um, I don't know how, how old these numbers are, you know, but I guess this, this uh, uh, gets lower for every year since uh, all of us are writing less and less by hand. So um, we get uh, worse and worse. Uh, writing by hand uh, but even if we were good at it uh, it cannot compare to the speed you can get when you're uh, typing on a keyboard and a keyboard cannot compare to a stenotype mm. words per minute can also be used to to measure how fast uh, we read and comprehend words uh, and this is interesting as well um, and this also here they have measured how fast uh, uh, people read a text aloud and uh, there is uh, a, a big difference uh, between different countries and languages and uh, Finland is the slowest <laughs> speakers uh, or maybe readers uh, but it is because of the Finnish language but I also think it's <laughs> a little bit about the, the, the Finnish uh, people I love Finland and I love uh, Finnish people. I think they are uh, great, uh, uh, great people, but uh, they don't talk fast. 
Um, but we can uh, read and speak at about, where, where is the WPM? Yeah, here it is, about 185 uh, WPM uh, reading comprehension. But you can read at 200 words per minute and this, this is also something that you can practice and get better and faster uh, at reading. And that's not a bad idea at all to, to try to improve that skill as well. It's a very useful skill. Um, this one also interesting. So let's uh, talk a bit about that also. Speech and listening. Uh, listening to uh, audiobooks is... Uh, Recommended to be at 150 and 160 words per minute. Uh, or audiobooks are recommended to be uh, when they record an audiobook. Because if they would uh, uh, speak faster, it would kind of feel a little bit uncomfortable when you first turn it on. Oh my god, they speak so fast here. But we can actually comprehend uh, much faster speeds uh, than this. Uh, where it, um, it takes some use uh, or... If you, if you double the speed on a podcast or an audiobook, so you get 300 words per minute, uh, af after just a couple of seconds, your, your brain will adjust and, and it is completely possible to, to uh, listen to such a book. Even if it is unnatural, you still get the information, you know, and that's what counts. Uh, so uh, double the speed. <laughs> Morse code, whatever. Okay. Wikipedia introduction. Hello. What is this? Yeah, we got some different keyboard layouts uh, layouts here. Um, I would say that this is one of the uh, um, traps that you could can get into when, when uh, diving into this rabbit hole. It's uh, starting to experiment with uh, alternative keyboard layouts and stuff. And there are uh, all kinds of arguments for one uh, layout over the other. I think this one looks uh, most interesting, uh, but it's just because you read this article and all the numbers and everything is so pretty, you know, uh, everything looks so good, but I don't know. Uh, I, I am a QWERTY uh, user and I don't intend to change, but there are different layouts and they may or may not improve uh, your typing speed. But of course, if you, get really really used to an alternative uh, keyboard layout then that will affect uh, the QWERTY speed negative so when when you get to a place where you cannot use your workman keyboard layout you know maybe you are at a, a workplace where you're not allowed to install some alternative uh, stuff from github or whatever and you have to use uh, QWERTY and then you will look like a fool you know because you cannot uh, type at all that's uh, 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 maybe not exactly how it would turn out, but maybe, whatever. I I, I don't I don't I don't know. I'm I'm not a fan of uh, alternative uh, layouts. I, I try not to think too much about it. But there are some uh, small things that you can change, uh, and this is good to to if you haven't started practicing touch typing at all then it's a, it's a good idea to, to make up your mind uh, about things like this and also the keyboard layout. Consider uh, if you want to use Dvorak or something before you start practicing, you know. Uh, but the standard QWERTY finger placement is uncomfortable and terribly designed. Uh, I don't know if it's really a design or anything, but what what you're usually taught is uh, that this is the finger placement and uh, yeah, you get it like the, the 10 fingers here, where pinky is yellow and uh, is this index finger is red here. So the five fingers uh, placed on these keys. But it is, and I agree with this uh, article here, uh, that the bottom row here for the left hand, it's unnatural uh, to type these keys. It's more natural to shift this one step to the uh, uh, left like this and have this uh, finger placement instead. But I actually, I, I have learned this uh, and am used to this one. Uh, so, and it's not like, I, I, I don't have any problems or issues. I don't feel any uh, um, 
wrist strains or anything uh, about, uh, and I don't think it have anything to do with this or, or something. But I actually think this, in the long run, this is probably a better option. And this, I, I think I can recommend it without even uh, uh, using it myself. Worth uh, considering at least, and, and a good little article about ergonomics uh, on finger positions. Here's another um, uh, little thing on the same topic. Uh, this guy, he have made his own Alexei uh, Kasantchev. This is a homepage for for where is it? Typingsoft.com. This is like a, a, a program for Windows for for touch typing. But this guy uh, says that he have created uh, uh, an alternative finger position under a contract with NASA for some reason uh, that looks like this. Uh, just quick here, we can see this is the normal uh, home row uh, positioning of the fingers, you know. You have the index fingers on F and J. But this guy shifts that uh, one step towards the middle on with both hands and also sets the uh, home keys to V and N like this. And I just uh, place my fingers like this on the keyboard uh, and it feels nice. I wonder if this is not a really good good uh, uh, layout. But I have never really tried this at all. I just found it today now when I was uh, looking around for uh, 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 tabs. But uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, let's uh, look at some programs and, and uh, tutors or whatever. The one that I have been using the most is uh, this one, Clavaro Touch Typing Tutor. Uh, it's available, as you can see here, for uh, Linux, and I wonder if it's not available for Windows as well, I'm not sure. Uh, it's a GTK application, you can open it here. Uh, and it usually looks like this when you first start it, and uh, it got some basic courses where, where it's just like uh, getting to know the, the keys. As you can see, all, all these characters are with the left hand uh, on the home row, and then the, the exercises here get harder and harder, or changing rows and, and stuff as you go on. And, and these exercises, even if they look completely stupid, I uh, they are very good to do uh, practice. Uh, exercises like this when you're starting to learn uh, so, so your key fingers can learn where uh, the keys are uh, because you want each each key have a specific uh, finger uh, that is supposed to press it you should never press it with a different finger than it's supposed to be without uh, well m maybe there are some some cases when you can use uh, different fingers, but whatever. Try, you should really, really, really try to uh, to learn this. <coughs> it's, it's important. Um, and it's also very, that's the most difficult thing, uh, learning touch typing, uh, because you, you probably need to reprogram your brain, because your hands uh, and your brain already have uh, uh, position your two fingers that you type everything with you know they have their their key that they want to type and, and it's also like it's not just the fingers it's also the hands some some people they may it may be always type R here with the right hand and that's uh, th that's uh, take some rewiring of the uh, brain to, to to get used to that but you can also use this uh, Clavaro here to touch uh, to train uh, speed here as you can see, it's just random words. The the sentence there there's no sentence or anything. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. It's just uh, random words to improve your uh, speed. But it's uh, it's uh, words and not just random characters. Um, whatever. I just use this because I it, it have been working fine. But it, it is kind of ugly. Uh, it's GTK. I don't like the, the UI that much, uh, but it, you can set the font and stuff so you can have a large, nice font like this and whatever. So that's one program. Um, it's fine. It's okay. Then there are a bunch of, uh, there's a lot of, of these online uh, uh, things that you can use. Here, here is Type Racer, where you, uh, no thanks, you don't need an account or anything, you can just uh, 
go to this page and, and, and uh, start typing. And here you type uh, this text here that we are supposed to type here. That is uh, from a book or a song or a movie or something like that. Um, and you compete with uh, others when you are typing here. So you get that competition element uh, if you like that when you are <laughs> gaming or what, whatever. Um, and this is fine as well, I guess. Uh, Just want to com complete this test here and then we can also see because you get some nice statistics and stuff here in this program that's something that is lacking in uh, uh, Clavaro you, you don't get much uh, uh, data after you have completed the test you will get uh, just some report on, on your WPM and stuff like that yeah, we can see that I am not not winning this race but whatever there, you just typed Ulysses by James Joyce, so it's not the easiest text, uh, this uh, 49 words per minute, it was my speed here, we still have some guys here struggling, or I don't know, whatever, you get some uh, statistics on the sentences uh, you typed and stuff like that, I don't know, It's it's uh, this is a page, whatever. Uh, this is uh, probably the most popular one uh, uh, called 10 fast fingers it's also you also don't need an account here if you're just doing this normal typing tests here uh, and this one I really like uh, the layout uh, of the test itself here that you only see two lines like you do here uh, and an input box yeah, I, I like the UI uh, of, of that part of this web page, but as you can see, the rest of the page is very noisy. Uh, there are uh, bars and stuff, and now I have my ad blocker uh, uh, enabled, so, so all the ads are hidden, but there are lots of ads and stuff on this page, and it's very JavaScript uh, heavy. Um, and if you do these standard uh, uh, or standard tests, uh, you get a list of random words like this and I think the words are taken from a, a, a list of, of just 200 words the 200 most common uh, words in the language uh, you choose and yeah I guess I should mention that as well that uh, here you can change um, language here lots of different languages We've got uh, my mother tongue here Swedish for example, and that's also available in Clavaro, but I don't think it's available here uh, on TypeRacer. That's only English, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I actually always do these typing tests in, in English, and I, I am much faster typing in English than in Swedish, because I've done much, much more training in English. Um, this page also have like uh, competitions and stuff like that you can uh, use. But it's uh, the danger with this, uh, uh, let's select English here, where is it, you know, there. Um, the danger with this uh, uh, um, test here is that almost, see, you, you get the same words over and over again. 200 words is it, not a lot of words and they are all lowercase except for some like America here is uppercase. And that makes it very e kind of easy these tests and you you get like uh, I get the highest scores the highest WPM on this site because the tests are so easy and that kind of messes with your brain so that you think that oh I, I go here it's I, I, I'm much better when I am here than here you know but you actually don't become a better uh, typist and when you find yourself in situations where you need to type uppercase characters and and punctuation marks and uh, special characters and everything else you know that you and that's the situations you are always in when you're especially programming but also like writing in general so I think you kind of uh, learn learn bad here in a way but you can also select this advanced typing test and then it's the thousand most uh, common words yeah here we can see 200 words or thousand most common words uh, in that language and then it's a little bit more difficult uh, words and 
but still uh, very few uppercase characters, no punctuation marks and, and so on. So I, I think that's a, a big drawback with this uh, uh, site. Uh, and it's also just uh, all the JavaScript and stuff. You know, I have uBlock Origin here. We can see all, all the stuff that that has blocked for me automatically here. Whatever. Um, in the last tabs in my browser video, I showed you this uh, uh, thing, 10FF, which is a certain typing contest site spin-off. 10FF. I wonder what the... Uh, 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 typing site contest spin-off it is um, and I installed that installed this uh, 10ff it's available in AUR um, and then you get a test here and it's it's kind of the same uh, layout as um, 10 fast fingers you'll see two lines like this and uh, one word at the time and and, and it's all only focused on one word uh, I really like this layout, and this is a this is a great alternative, and probably better. You know, you don't get the noise, you don't get any ads, you don't get any JavaScript. It's just you in the terminal. It's a Python uh, written in Python. You get some uh, statistics when you complete the test and whatnot. So, and it also have it also comes with a bunch of language files. So this also have multi language support, uh, which is great. Uh, I just okay, also found this today now when I was uh, looking for, for <laughs> tabs. Uh, this is uh, uh, some other uh, typing. This is more like a course where uh, you, you do the lessons and stuff here in order. And it's very, it, it's nice, you know, but I found this weird thing, musical typing. And then all that let letters here, I have selected that. Uh, and then you can, you can type this, uh, let's see, let's reload the page. Now you type with music. <laughs> I don't know. It's only this text also. You, the, there's no random words. There's no random text. It's this text. <laughs> But uh, it's very satisfying uh, doing this, and I, I don't know, uh, I haven't seen this uh, anywhere else uh, where you can type with, where it creates a melody like this. Uh, but I think this is not a bad uh, practice at all to to have it play a, a melody like this, because uh, that will improve uh, as, uh, your rhythm skills, you know. So you type at a, 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 an even pace, and that is. Uh, that is very, very good uh, to also have that and something that um, is often overlooked, I, I think. Um, and I think that's uh, uh, professional typists probably know about this, you know, those who type for hours, uh, hours a day, they try to have a steady pace. So yeah, that's Peter's online typing course. I, I'm not sure what this page is here, but whatever. Then we have this, the GNU typist, and this is uh, the uh, yeah from from the GNU GNU.org here. Um, it's a it's of course a terminal based program. Um, also comes with a bunch of different languages, and this program is actually uh, I wouldn't say it's very good, but the the lessons it comes with, the practice lessons, is extremely good. I, I remember when I started using this, it uh, it improved my, my my typing a lot doing the, their uh, exercises. Uh, but it's not available anymore in uh, uh, Pac-Man official repositories. Uh, G typist, nothing there. But you can find it on AUR. But you will see that it's out of date. Uh, this is out of date. And I found this on AUR here. Uh, and I think you only need to add this uh, GPG uh, key uh, to make it work. But there is also this one, uh, single space package here, which is uh, 
a fork of, of G-typist, uh, but uh, they have um, uh, with the two spaces after a sentence garbage removed uh, because this G-typist, it have this super strange thing that after each sentence you're supposed to, to type two spaces instead of one space like hello world dot I am bud dot but uh, in, in G-typist we would do hello world dot space space I am bud dot space space and if you don't do this then you get like an error and it gets weird and and you get uh, angry and so so this is a <laughs> probably a much better fork than the original uh, G typist uh, I thought I would install this um, but look at this Here we can see the dependencies. Uh, so the make dependencies have Emacs. <laughs> so you have to install Emacs, but we can, maybe we, let's do this. Okay, uh, remove make dependencies. And that means it will only install Emacs here because it needs Emacs to build this program for some weird reason here. And with yay, you can do this, which is great. I think uh, you can select yes there, and then it will remove Emacs uh, and all the other uh, make dependencies when it have installed the program. The default is no, and then it will keep those packages that it needs. Uh, package to clean build. Yes, whatever, divs to show, whatever. And there we can see only 134 megabytes here, but that's the build dependencies, which will, which will get removed now, so whatever maybe this will take some time here so we can have it running here in the background uh, see if i have some more uh, uh, tabs who are gnu typist yeah 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 this is so great because this is my uh, the best uh, uh, touch typing tutor program uh, and this is kind of an old program i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure how old the, the latest release is uh, Review software version. I think it's about 10 years old or something. Uh, Ubuntu version 6.10 or higher, you know. There is, isn't really any dates. Well, here we have 2020. Maybe they have updated it. It's kind of weird to find information about, about that here. Uh, but this program is much more advanced than any any other uh, touch typing program I have used. And also I should say that I, I, I managed to install this when I was uh, using a Debian based uh, distribution. And I remember I had to install all kinds of weird uh, uh, libraries and stuff to get, to get it to build correctly. Uh, since it's so old and I, I think it uses some, some uh, obscure uh, UI library and stuff. And I could never get it uh, uh, I could never manage to, to build it on Arch, but now uh, it is actually available in uh, the official repository. Someone have, have made an official package for this, which is really, really nice. So you can search for tip 10. And there you find it. I have it already installed now. And since it's in the official repositories, you don't have to build anything or download any weird dependencies. It's a super fast installa installation. Uh, so yeah, let's run this now and then we can run gtypist since we are here. Sorry for jumping around a bit, but whatever. Because this is a bit different. Uh, this is much more intelligent than the other uh, touch typing tutors. You start this and you got lessons here. Um, and then you can set the time limit. I think the default one is five minutes. You can also choose to do it on, with the character limits. Um, but the uh, unique thing with this program is that it uh, makes uh, uh, an, an, an analyzes your your uh, typing and uh, gives you lessons uh, based on yeah based on on what you have issues with typing like combinations of different characters and stuff. Uh, um, it, yeah, this really, really helps you uh, improve uh, your, your typing by giving you the lessons you need, kind of. And it also has this advanced uh, UI here, uh, which you can, uh, you can disable the elements that you don't want to see. 
So here we can see take home row position and press spacebar. And then we can see pressing A. And this both uh, presents, at least in, in, in these uh, exercises, you see I, I get both the uh, words and uh, sometimes just random characters. And a lot of the words are actually in German because it's a German uh, program. But I don't think that matters, you know, it's not about uh, the language, it's about uh, getting to know the keys. And this, it's so nice that you get the, those color codes for uh, uh, which finger and key you're, you're supposed to press, you know, especially when you're starting out with this, so you can uh, take your time and, and really see that you're using the correct fingers, you know. Uh, and one thing, notice here, right key here, or right shift, uh, you should use that when, when the character you're typing is uh, uh, on the left side. So capital D, then you use the right shift. Capital K, then I would use the left shift. And this is something that I know a lot of people, they, they have never even thought about it. They always use either the right or the left shift for every character. This is... Um, uh, somewhat uh, uh, important because otherwise you 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 will lose uh, the hand position uh, completely if you use the same shift key for 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 uh, on the wrong place uh, and that is also something that takes some rewiring in the brain and and practice to to uh, relearn uh, to do but definitely worth doing. So, but but this is this is a great uh, uh, application. Exit lesson early. Yes, you want to say sure, and then uh, you you get a lot of, of uh, information about uh, your how, how you typed here. You can even see like your fingers, which finger where, uh, how, how much errors you got on each fingers and stuff. So. Yeah, I really like this application. I I, I will start using it. Uh, now when I got it installed here, uh, whatever, that's uh, that's some programs, you know. Okay, let's do G type is now. Uh, maybe we should do, it's like a big terminal here. Uh, G type is, it looks like this, selecting. You see, you got a lot of, of uh, this series contains a lot of lessons, you see. Then it's like this, this is just some information, press uh, return or space to continue. Yeah, read about this, read about this, and then you're supposed to type here. Uh, now I don't think you have any backspace, or you don't have a backspace key, you're just supposed to type. Yeah, you see how it works. And these lessons, if I'm not mistaken, it was a long time since I did this, uh, you have to have uh, like 90% uh, accuracy, otherwise you, you have to redo the test. Yeah, here we can see your error rate is too high. Um, I don't remember. You have to achieve 3% and we got 5% errors. That's not acceptable. So, so it's kind of harsh, um, but that's just good. Uh, and these, uh, these are the, the exercises that I said was, was so good, you know, to, to really force you to learn uh, the keys uh, this program is, is the best for that. Even if the UI is kind of weird here, as you can see, and uh, now it doesn't care about this double space, or I guess this one will never do because this is fork. Uh, but there are lessons also. Uh, e to exit, yes. Let's see, escape to go back. There are like uh, more typing, where you're typing words and stuff, like maybe these, I don't know. God damn it. And this also have this nice feature that you can press escape um, to just restart. And I really like that. And Clavaro have that as well. There's 0%. Great. And then M for next lesson. All right, you see. Uh, so I kind of recommend this uh, G-Typist as well, and uh, sure, you have to download Emacs to build it, 100 megabytes to build this program, it's uh, ridiculous. 
have no idea how that works, uh, how Emacs can be a build uh, requirement like that, but it, it, it is. Um, key type is single space, yeah, these are just some. All right, I guess that was uh, the tabs in my browser. And let me show you quickly here some, some features. Since I, as you can see, I, I have been doing this for, for a long time, you know, uh, touch type training and tried a couple of different programs and know what I like. And when I saw this um, um, 10FF uh, program, I thought to myself, hey, that looks cool and not too difficult to create uh, yourself. I will try to clone that interface, uh, but do it in bash instead. And I ended up with this, you know, typisk. And let's set uh, 10 seconds. This is like uh, easy mode. This is like 10 FF, uh, where you get the 200 most common words in English here. But there are other word lists as well. And then you get some information. Tests under 60 seconds are not added to the scoreboard. Here is the scoreboard. Uh, 50 words per minute, 72% accuracy. Pressing escape, just restart, and I can press escape. The feature I know, I like, you know. You cannot do that in 10FF in, in this one. Uh, pressing escape, nice. Uh, but you can also uh, set, for example, difficulty here to 10, and this is something missing in, in almost all, all of the other uh, programs. This will use the same word list, but now it will uh, add difficulty, adding special characters uh, to to the words here. Sometimes parentheses, sometimes it adds like this here, and yeah, you see, and it gets a, a it's it's a much better practice, and it also uh, capitalizes uh, sometimes words and sometimes just the first uh, uh, character. And I think that's good uh, to practice uh, with special characters. But today I have also uh, added this mode here uh, called book and I think, uh, what is it now? I think we have to open the, yeah, the Odyssey is one book that I added here. Oh. The Odyssey, -o. there. Um, in this mode, it, it doesn't print random words. It's, instead, it prints the words in this list in order. And this list is uh, generated from the book here, the Odyssey by Homer. So, so this is the whole uh, book, the Odyssey. And then I just, uh, then I added or used awk to create a word list out of it. But it's still in the same order as in the book. So uh, right now, and as you can see, we are, we are not at the start here because uh, I added this feature that it will remember the position in the book where when the te test ends. So you will see here, entered grades there and there. Now it starts here at great where we were. Uh, let's see if we can find it here. Great. Yeah, here we are in the book. Great suffering on the deep. His life was uh, oft in peril as he labored. And we, you see, we have the same thing here. And that means you can, <laughs> you can kind of read a book uh, while uh, doing a typing test on it, and it will remember the position. So this is something I've been thinking about, uh, a mode that I always wanted, you know. And, and the books here, by the way, I, I um, found them on, God damn it, what is the name? I probably have it. Yeah, standard ebooks. This, this is a really cool uh, thing. Let's just do this. Free liberated ebooks. So this, this project, it uh, takes uh, books that are uh, in the public domain. So like, uh, yeah, for example, uh, the Odyssey uh, that is like 2000 years old or, or something. Um, and um, creates really, really nice uh, uh, ebook ebooks it, of, of them uh, in um, the popular formats um, like uh, EPUB, uh, Kindle, and what, what not, you know. And 
very high quality on these e ebooks. I, I, I highly recommend this. And it is completely free uh, and uh, public domain and liberated and everything, you know. And so many of these uh, cl old classics are very, very, very uh, well worth uh, reading. Much better than most of, of the, the written words that we get uh, uh, thrown at us today. And it can be a good idea to just uh, uh, grab most of these, you know. Who knows what will happen? Who knows which books will burn uh, in the upcoming years, you know. Whatever, that's a bit off topic. Um, also, in th this video, I will do a test here. Uh, I, I actually installed Audacity here. And I will try to clean the audio uh, for this, uh, uh, this video before publishing it. Uh, I can see that uh, the last video I did, I actually lost more, <laughs> I had never lost that many subscribers uh, on a video. Um, yeah, th this is the lowest subscription count I ever had. Uh, so three people left uh, when, when this video was published and I think it's because of the bad audio. Uh, it, it's weird, you know, It's a, it, it got a good, uh, or. Yeah, for my channel, completely fine uh, uh, view numbers here. 200 views in, in two days here, that's great. And thir no one disliked 13 likes. This is this tells me this was a liked video, you know. But then I lost three subscribers on it. Doesn't have to be that they uh, dropped out on this video. It just tells me they dropped out on that day. But I think I can get... Yeah, we can see. Maybe it was this video. I suspect it was. Yeah, two people unsubscribed watching this. Or in total, two. I don't know. So there probably was some people also subscribing. But the total is minus two. I think that's how it... Total change in subscribers. So, so maybe more people unsubscribed. Why can't I see both... Uh, yeah, maybe... Whatever. Likes, dislikes. I would like to see how many subscribers I gained also on the video, but I only get to see the, the depressing total. All right, whatever. Uh, meta information. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye.